Hey Candy Kings and Queens, welcome back. It's your girl bringing you another episode of my awesome tips and tricks and tutorials, baby. Yes, you guys love all of my little tutorials, all of my little tricks, and I love giving them to you, boo. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I create those little eye icons like this one right here and add those cool end tags to the end of my videos because it looks like some of you guys don't know how to do that. So let me teach you let me show you and if you're ready to learn make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button right now and stay tuned right. the first thing you want to do is go into your um creator studio as you can see i'm already there and what i'm going to do is go ahead and take one of my most recent uploads and show you guys how i edit it um you'll go into your video manager here click on your videos and just simply click on the edit tab next to the video that you want to edit. What I'm getting ready to do, as you can see, it gives you a couple of different things that you can do here, just whatever you're trying to do. What I'm gonna show you today is how to create cards or end tags. Let's pause that for a second. Okay, so as you can see, I don't have anything here. Um, I wanna basically put some more details into this video so that people will know more about my channel or be able to check out some of my other cool awesome videos of course so we'll click on the add card here as you can see you have the option to add a video promote a channel donation or create a poll I am going to add in a video so we'll click on create and let's see which video I want to send my viewers to um, let's send them here okay create card and as you can see it already says cards used one of five so you basically have the option to use five of these and this is what these are when I say five of these <laughs> this is what we're referring to right here okay um, another thing to note is as you can see it says two seconds basically that's letting you know where the tag will pop or come into the video um another cool thing that you can do is again you can create a poll with the poll basically you put in a simple question that you would like to ask your viewers and have them answer it with a simple yes or no or a and b choice i'm going to ask did you if I can type, <laughs> subscribe. Yes, it already knows what I want to put. <laughs> okay, go down here. Yes, yeah, no, create card. All right, cool. So you see we have a poll here. As you can see, it comes in showing basically that it's going to pop up at 14 seconds to see who crap bore, which was the video that I added. Well, let's just say I don't want it there, right? I can simply take this little thingamajig here, this little bar, this little tool here, and move it to where I want this particular action to pop up in the video to let my viewers know, hey, there's a call to action. So I dropped it here at the 50 mark, and as you can see, it switched up, it changed, it shows you now, it's gonna come in at the 50 second mark. Next, I'm gonna take my other one, which is my pole, and I'm gonna move it down towards the end. And as you can see, it comes in at 239 of the video. And here's what the viewers will see again. Just like that. And they can click it and go on to the next video or answer the questions in your poll and you'll get the results back at the end. And I'm going to start again with the video that I have yet to edit. Um, we'll go into it, click the little drop down menu there. And what I'm doing today are in screen edits to the video. So we'll click on that tab. And voila, it pops up. Basically, this is like when you're looking at other people videos and you see it pops in it as like a suggested video or something you should watch or something they highly recommend for you to view that is on their channel or on your own channel um, this is how you add that into your particular video let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll click add an element 
it gives you a couple of different options. You can choose most recent upload, best for viewers, or you can choose your own. So I'm going to go with my most recent upload and create that element. And as you can see, it automatically pops up here. Now, I will tell you, this is not the way that I actually like to do it. I actually like to go up here and use one of the already or ready-made templates that they have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, delete that. Let's delete that. And this is how you delete. I'm sorry. This is how you delete. You just click on the little uh, pen tool and click on the little trash can and it'll take it right out for you. So what I want to do is I want to use one of the templates that they have because it gives you more options. It also includes or it adds your uh, your profile picture so that they'll know, hey, okay, this is their video or whatnot. And it also kind of gives people um, the go ahead and subscribe, you know, it lets them know like, okay, go ahead and subscribe. And as you can see, you get several different options here, several different options. Look at all of those options that you get. Look at that. How cool is that? Right. So take your time, scroll through, decide which one you want or what you don't want and click it. So I only want to add in one particular video to this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Select. Okay, so as you can see, it gives you the option to choose a video or choose a playlist. And we can go right over here to the little ink pen tool, and it gives you these options as well. You can basically hit here, and it'll automatically feature your most recent upload or give what's best for viewers. And again, you can choose which video you want to go there. This particular video, I discussed my ponytail here in this video, so uh, my seafood crab ball. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that particular video because that's the one I want it to link back to. And there you have it. You have your end screen text and it looks cool. It looks like you know what you're doing. <laughs> it optimizes your channel. It gives your viewers even more to look forward to. And I will go ahead and tell you guys that unfortunately you cannot move this around how you want to. Like you cannot put this in the beginning of the video. Um, YouTube requires you to use this at the end of the video. So that's the reason why it's called an end screen, okay? And when you're done, make sure you hit that save button or else it will not save. It'll go away. <laughs> so I hope you guys were able to take away some good notes and you were able to utilize the information that I just gave you. Again, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for my next upload. Thank you so much, Candy Kings and Queens, and I love you so much.